people process technology, right? That's a framework for transformation. And, and I think what we're seeing right now is that, um, you know, in the world, uh, work has fundamentally changed. Uh, you know, it, it was happening uh, prior to the pandemic, but uh, really that's only helped to accelerate um, the fact that work is no longer a, a place, it's something you accomplish, it's, it's an outcome. Um, and, you know, through uh, kind of some of the things that we've seen now, ubiquitous internet everywhere, um, increased security, uh, I think that remote access to applications and, and desktops has become a key part in that transformation and allowing people to really um, take their work with them and, and go anywhere, right? You can onboard people instantly now. Um, you can move entire offices to work from home uh, within a day. And, uh, you know, while this uh, remote desktop and apps is nothing new, um, a lot of these companies and our, our partners have only gone to increase, um, you know, the, their, uh, their footprint and, and what their technology can do. And Microsoft has come out with Windows Virtual Desktop or WVD, um, which has really changed the game, right? It's now an OS uh, that the manufacturer of that operating system um, delivered uh, multi-session or to the remote, remote users has really changed the experience for a lot of end users and, and made it a, you know, kind of a whole different, uh, whole different game. The answer is uh, it works the same across all those different environments, right? Um, and the the honest truth behind that is because you have to start thinking about the fact that there is no silver bullet. While digital transformation is, is accelerating at a rate because of people working from home because of the pandemic, the thing still remains. There's no silver bullet. There's no homogenous VDI single solution that's going to be able to suit every single use case for every single user type. Um, or for applications either, right? So from our perspective, you know, what our goal is, is to actually provide the data to these customers that are driving innovation at a pace that's never before been seen by IT. And they're saying, you know what? We're gonna give you the information based on data, understanding your application behavior and characteristics, such as compatibility, performance, multi-session friendliness, MSIX readiness, and then take those components that we can automatically find for you around those applications and give you the confidence that, hey, as a customer, I am deploying the right application. I am deploying it in the right format on the right platform to deliver a great user experience. It's, it's not just about will it work anymore. It's about am I optimizing it and will it work well? The way of modernizing applications today is is still very much what I call traditional application packaging. I think is the norm. You know, it's been around for years, decades even. You know, I certainly have been around kind of application packaging for over 25 years now. And I think, you know, the tools and technologies out there have very much been, you know, kind of offer a linear approach to kind of creating the application. And in addition to that, you know, manual intervention is the norm. And of course, that introduces cost and complexity and all of those other things. And so I think what we tried to do with Remo3 Cloud, uh, and I think, you know, we have achieved it, is really taking the new application format, MSIX, and do this kind of conversion process that is, you know, uh, where you can do it at scale. And in addition to that, where kind of intervention is the exception. And by achieving that, you know, we're going to see that we believe that we'll drive the adoption of this new file format for Microsoft significantly, you know, faster than previous adoption has been out there in the market. And I think, you know, again, that does come down to kind of our experience in this space. I mean, maybe I have been around it for far too long, um, you know, but I'm very excited about what we're doing over at Remo3. I think, you know, it's a culmination of, the years of that kind of experience coming together some of the old team members of you said you know part of the kind of the the, the remo three and it, our, our vision for that and i think you know when customers think about modernizing applications um you know you initially think about packaging you know application packaging and it's a limiting factor because it it's it's legacy you know it takes too long and it's expensive and i think you know remo three changes all of that
the remote workforce has really um, let them refocus and double down on on enhancing the user experience uh, for you know their customers. And, and I think we play a, a, a really important part in that uh, that jigsaw puzzle uh, of you know making sure that the applications, as Samit mentioned, are, are in the right place at the right time. Uh, you know, I, I like to. Uh, having kids, I always kind of take things back to Legos. And and I think what a lot of people have worked with for a lot of years is just a bunch of random pieces laid out over their, their table, right? What we are, can do with these partners now is actually take and give them the blueprints, give them the, um, give the directions on uh, how to build something more specific, like, uh, like Hogwarts Castle, right? By, by saying, this is the piece that belongs in this location at, at, at this time in this format. And, and that's really where I, you know, I, I see us working with partners and, and you know, their opportunity add. For me, I think it comes down to three things, three themes, let's call it. And I think the first is, you know, how do we kind of continue to enable our global technology alliance partners? and really give them kind of thoughtful integrations into our platform for them to maximize you know the value to our existing and our joint customer base as there is an adoption of kind of msix worldwide uh, you know and you know other vdi platforms where windows needs to be updated and then i think it you know for me it's going to be around our service partners and how do we enable their kind of service line offerings if you like to really drive the value to their kind of customers you know during that modernization process i think that's going to be key for us over the coming 12 months and i see us executing very well on that you know with the current trajectory but i think most importantly is you know is really enhancing that kind of customer experience i mean for me it's critical and i certainly know you know it's something that Sami is is also very passionate about that's one of the things that you and I had talked about when we designed the Remo 3 Cloud platform, right? It, it, it's the foundation and the cornerstone of the approach that we've taken. So Steve, for us, like the way that we look at it is because of the rapid race, uh, the pace uh, and the race of this digital transformation, we are now in a situation for where the very first time in my two decades of operating here in this space, it, it's really around, listen, IT, and the lines of businesses and the business units are actually working together instead of the typical combative shadow IT culture that's existed for years, right? Um, because of the need and the necessity of rapid rollouts, we're in a situation where actually IT is actually designing the blueprints of what this managed service is gonna look like, what the rollouts, what the assessment, what the plan of execution and operation looks like. But it's the lines of businesses that are actually driving it. A wealth management uh, organization inside of a financial institution wants to roll out WVD, they need to make sure that their apps are gonna work in that type of environment. So our approach has been enabling those lines of businesses to understand their application portfolio so that they can start accelerating those workloads to the right platforms and only save the exceptions for IT. So now they're working in conjunction to automate the mundane and still drive innovation at the same time. And and for me, when I was talking to Eric about you know joining and you know the opportunity here, I think that that's one of the things that he was probably most excited about. This transformation is is happening whether we like it or not. Um, and and I think there's a, a huge market opportunity out there for for us um, for our partners and for the end users to really start to uh, connect all these these pieces that we've been discussing today and, and turn it into you know th this transformation that everybody needs right it's it's changing the way we work as I mentioned at the beginning um, but it's really changing our you know entire lives and and I think being part of that is really kind of what got me excited and and that's why I'm I'm here at Remo Three and I'm I'm glad to be uh, working with some people I've worked with in the past and. Uh, Really uh, excited about uh, getting reacquainted with the, you know, some of my old friends in the space, and and uh, and you know, driving forth uh, this this opportunity as I mentioned.